So the next problem I want to work on is number six of the independent practice from lesson 2.1. Okay, so like we did with the others, we're going to take negative oops, negative 6y equals negative 3x plus 18, and we're going to write it into slope-intercept form. We've isolated the y almost. All we have to do is subtract everything by negative 6. So we have y equals 1 half x minus negative 3. Okay. And then for the second equation, we're going to have 8 minus 3x equals 4y. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that as 4y equals 8 minus 3x, because it's the same thing. I'm going to further rewrite that as y equals negative 3x plus 8, because I'm trying to make it into the slope-intercept form. So here I'm going to divide everything by 4. So we have y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2. Okay, so those are our two equations. Let's go ahead and graph the first one. Okay, so the y-intercept for this one is negative 3, and the slope is 1 half. So we have negative 3 here. Okay, and then we go up 1 to the right 1, up 1 to the right 1, down 1 to the 1, 2, left 1. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and connect the lines, and there's our first graph. Now, let's graph the other one, and so we have y-intercept of 2, so the y-intercept is going to be 2, and the slope is going to be negative 3 fourths, and then we have 1, 2, 3 down. One, two, three, four. Okay, because that negative can go in um, in the numerator or in the denominator. Just remember that. And so we have da, da, da. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna make, make another. Uh oh. Make another point right here. It's easier for me to draw. Okay. So our point of intersection is 4, negative 1. And that's our final answer. Good job.